Hi everyone, I'm Julie Schiffman, and today we're going to do some tapping for, for inflammation in your body. First and foremost, let me make it very clear that I do not diagnose anything and nor do I claim to cure anything. What I do is to help you look at the possibility of underlying emotions which might be contributing to inflammation in your body. If pain or inflammation is intense for you, please be sure to reach out to a practitioner or reach out to your medical doctor if you need to. Tapping or EFT is never a replacement for seeing your doctor, but tapping can definitely help to complement your body and your body's ability to feel better. When we reduce stress, our body can um, access its natural ability to heal. As you may know already, it is widely known that if you address the underlying emotional component to physical pain or discomfort, then very often the pain subsides or it decreases or it even sometimes goes away entirely. Let's start tapping for inflammation in your body. Inflammation can occur just about anywhere for a variety of reasons. And it's impossible for me to address anything specific since inflammation is going to vary for different people in different areas of the body and relates to um, possibly a, a difference of health challenges for whatever it is that you're dealing with. The bottom line is that it is universally uncomfortable and painful, and it can often make you feel powerless or even hopeless at times. We're going to address the emotions around it very generally, and hopefully this will help to reduce swelling in your body or even pain in your body, regardless of how it got there or why it got there. You, on the other hand, can be very specific as you can possibly be as we go through the tapping round. So feel free to change the words and um, change whatever you need to in order to suit your particular needs. I can't tell you how many amazing stories I've heard from people over the years who have used tapping to reduce inflammation. You have nothing to lose here except for the pain. So let's tap. Before we start, I just want you to get a baseline to see where you're at so you can see where you're at now as opposed to where you are when we finish. So 0 to 10, just pay attention to where inflammation is in your body. 0 is no pain at all, and 10 is you just can't stand it anymore. And we'll come back and um, see where you are when we're done. As always, please remember to take responsibility for your own emotional and physical well-being. And we're going to start tapping. So take a breath in. And just repeat after me. Even though I have inflammation in my body and I'm so uncomfortable, I accept myself anyway. Even though I have inflammation in a particular area of my body and I'm in significant pain or discomfort, I'm really struggling with feeling inflamed. I accept myself and my body. Even though it might be hard to accept myself and my body. With all this pain and discomfort. Uncertainty. I'm open to appreciating what my body does for me. Each and every day. And we're going to tap through the points. This inflammation in my body. I feel so inflamed. This burning feeling throughout my body. Or maybe it's in a specific area. This inflammation in my body. I'm so uncomfortable. And some days I become so discouraged. Maybe even feeling hopeless. I don't know how to get rid of it. Or decrease it. Find relief. This inflammation. I'm so uncomfortable. I hate the way it feels in my body. 
I feel swollen. Or maybe a burning sensation. Maybe I'm itching. All I know is that it feels bad. Maybe it even feels angry. I wonder what emotion this inflammation feels like. Is it anger? Is it fear? What was feeling inflamed in my life when this started? What stress could be contributing to this? I'm paying attention now. If I'm honest, what area of my life causes me to feel angry? Inflamed. What area of my life causes me to feel scared? Maybe it's about my health. Maybe it's about other things where I feel I don't have control. I'm inflamed. I feel this inflammation. And although it hurts, or maybe it feels uncomfortable, I have faith that my body is doing what it needs in order to heal. I'm open to releasing all the underlying causes of this inflammation. I'm letting it go at a cellular level. All my organs are listening. My glands are listening. I'm connecting with my body. I'm breathing into wellness. All of my systems are listening. Thank you, body, for listening to me right now. I know you are always listening. And I'm so grateful for what you do for me every day. My body is so happy to relax right now. Its natural state is relaxation. But sometimes I work my body hard. Even when it's tired. Uncomfortable. I often ignore the signs and symptoms. I push myself. But I'm listening now. And I'm getting ready to let this go. Allowing my body to relax. All the parts of my body are working together. Communicating with each other. I can even visualize what that looks like. My cells are talking. Smiling. Maybe even dancing. Or maybe my cells are just chilling out. Just happy to relax. 
I now give my body permission to heal. Permission to feel peaceful. Permission to relax. And heal at the deepest of levels. I'm having compassion for myself. Thinking more peaceful thoughts. As I get centered in my body. So grateful my body is listening. I am so willing to change this story I've been telling myself. about pain, struggle, and suffering. I'm getting ready to let that go. Releasing all the emotions that are keeping me stuck. Stuck in emotional pain. Stuck in physical pain. I'm releasing inflammation from my body. And I'm open to releasing all of the emotions that go with it. As I let go of anger and resentment, fears and worries and all of the frustrations I'm committed to feeling better right now I'm committed to taking care of myself I'm committed to me Tap your wrists together and say peace. Good job. Take a big deep breath in. And let it out. And see how that feels for you. Are you feeling more relaxed? Did you notice any improvement in your pain from where you started from? You started at 0 to 10, wherever you were there. See where you are now. Even if you came down a couple of notches, a couple of points, a couple of numbers, you've still come down some percentage, which is where we want to go with this. I love hearing how tapping helps people. So please be sure to let me know in the comments below if or how this helped you. Honor yourself and honor your body. And if this helped, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you can be notified of all new videos as they come out. I'm going to be doing these on a weekly basis. And be sure to share this with others if you think that it can be useful. Thanks for tapping with me. Keep tapping.